Finding Dory is Pixar's latest sequel, and not one that I was really looking forward to. I wasn't overly pumped for this movie. I, I like the first one. It's good enough. I have the Blu-ray. I think it's a fun movie, and I think it's really well animated. So an extremely forgetful fish named Dory with short-term memory loss is trying to find her family. She has these very fragmented memories of her past. Broken up memories of her past are scattered around her brain, and she's trying to find where her parents are with the help of Marlin and Nemo. This movie really surprised me. This is an extremely fast-paced movie that really never had a dull moment. There was never a part of this movie that lagged. Everything was always happening. It was constantly funny. I was really genuinely surprised by Finding Dory. I had not a single bit of anticipation for this movie. It didn't look that great to me. Pixar has a history of making trailers that really aren't all that good. And it was the same with Finding Dory. The trailers for this movie did nothing for me, but the film was really great. Ellen DeGeneres is so good as Dory. This is an example I'm gonna use for years to come of a perfect melding of voice actor and character. When I see them on the screen, it just, it works. It, it feels real. It feels like a real little fish. And there isn't really anything about it that seems like it could be different. And I can't really imagine another voice coming from that character. I was afraid she was gonna get annoying, you know, constantly forgetting things, needing to be reminded all the time, but it didn't happen. It was always clever and they found really funny and smart ways to make her disability she deals with extremely entertaining, but also heartfelt in just the right ways because it's not too sappy, it's not overly cutesy, it's a smart film. Kids can really enjoy it for its beautiful animation and for how fast paced it is, but adults are also going to find things to like too. And not just smart jokes, but the fact that it doesn't pander to kids. It's an intelligent movie. And there are characters in the film that go in very different directions than you would expect them to from their introduction, like this octopus. I don't want to spoil it for you, but it, it really, it was great actually. It was really charming. And there's something about this movie that was just extremely sweet and not in a way that makes you feel icky, you know, like, oh, it was just really, you know, that was kind of sticky. The mixture of emotion and humor and action sequences as well was really great. And there are so many good characters in this movie, like this introduction to this whale shark. That's something that Pixar does really well when they're on point, great characters. And this movie is filled with them. And I genuinely actually wanted to know, like, what? What's going on with Dory? Where did she come from? And the film really nudged me into that desire, wanting to know more about Dory's past. I genuinely didn't think she would be a very compelling character, and I was wrong. This movie was a lot of fun. There is one thing about this movie that is really almost unprecedented, especially in animated kids' films, that I can't stop praising. There really isn't a villain. There's no big evil person that wants to cause harm to someone. The situation, I guess, is the antagonist of the movie, but I found that to be a giant, big breath of fresh air. From a storytelling standpoint, I gotta really commend the writers because that's hard to do, to have a movie that's this compelling with characters that are this compelling without there being, you know, a Darth Vader every other scene. As for flaws, it's really tough to pick one out because the film is so fast-paced and fun that the only flaw I could really find with it is that it perhaps isn't as emotionally stirring as it wants to be. I didn't find myself crying at key moments. I found myself enjoying the film, but I think the only issue I have with it is that it isn't quite as emotionally amazing as I think it should be. Certain moments where you should really feel like the tears are welling up, for me, that just didn't happen like it did in Inside Out or Toy Story 3. I thought Finding Dory was very good, and I'm gonna give it an A-. minus. So guys, with fish movies coming out right now, like Finding Dory and the upcoming The Shallows with Blake Lively, I thought it would be really fun to fill in the gaps of the Jaws films that I've never reviewed. I've already reviewed the first Jaws many years back, as well as Jaws The Revenge, and with Jaws 2 and 3 coming out on Blu-ray just this last Tuesday, my friend and I actually had the opportunity to watch Jaws 3 in 3D for the very first time. So I thought it'd be fun to fill in those gaps. I'm gonna do it slightly in a reverse order since I've already done the other Jaws movies in a weird reverse order. I'm gonna have a Jaws 3D hilariosity review for you this weekend with my good friend Matt Brando. He's gonna join me. You may remember him from the review I did, The Other Side of the Door. And then after that, we're gonna review Jaws 2 together. Totally out of order, but who cares? It's fun. Fish movies, sharks, yes, good shit. Also, I want to let you know that I'm still doing my promotion with audible.com. If you go to audible.com slash Chris, you can get a free 30-day trial of Audible. They have so many amazing audiobooks on their website, hundreds of 
thousands. It's unprecedented in regards to audiobooks. You can download them to your MP3 player, your computer, your iPad. You can listen to them on the go, anywhere you want to. If you're like me and you sometimes don't always have the time to pop open a book and read that book, and maybe you're at your job and you have the ability to listen to a book and you want to, audible.com is a great source for people who love reading, but don't always have the time to physically read. It's awesome. A lot of people have thanked me for that service. It's a free 30-day trial. Check out audible.com slash Chris. And thank you to Audible for continuing to sponsor my videos. It means a lot. Guys, thank you so much, as always, for watching. Look forward to this weekend. Review of Jaws 3D. That's going to be fun. Trust me, it is. You guys are the best. And as always, if you like this, you can click right here and get stuckmanized.